this Shabbat, we mark Shmini Atzeret, culminating the festival of Sukkot and the cycle of the Shalosh Regalim, right? Capping off our observance of all three of the festivals and of the high holiday cycle and completing the cycle of the year in these unprecedented times in our lives and in our Jewish history. After weeks immersed in this season when we've had elevated engagement in worship, um, different kinds of connection to community and to God, we're now getting ready to come back down to earth. And as we are, we know that we remain in a time of great uncertainty with rhythm still disrupted, with the election coming up. And so I've been thinking about how we might be able to hold on to the blessings of this season to fortify ourselves spiritually. Um, just thinking of this idea of a harvest and of, of storing up some things that will, will help us feel rooted in our own resilience um, during these times. And just wanted to share um, a little teaching about this day of, of Shmini Atzeret. Uh, for our sages, the festival of, of Sukkot in particular is seen as a time when we are enveloped in God's love. And it's a time of particular closeness and intimacy between the Holy One and Am Yisrael. And Shmini Atzeret um, is this day that's set aside for sealing in the spiritual fruits of the festival. And it's also a, a sweet send off as we prepare to part ways and transition out of this holiday time. Um, in the words of Harav Shakespeare, parting is such sweet sorrow, <laughs> right? That line from uh, Romeo and Juliet, right? There's such sadness to it, um, but there's also a sweetness to the longing. Um, and, and, and with that, that yearning, that longing, um, we can sometimes feel the love within that and it can, can fortify us and, and nourish us even in, in the, the absence and the longing. Um, so in explaining the significance of this day of Shmini Atzeret, um, as a bonus day added on to the festival of Sukkot, Rashi teaches that in ordaining this holiday, God is saying to the people of Israel, just stay with me a little bit longer. <laughs> um, don't go just yet. Rashi says it's like children taking leave of, uh, of a parent and the parent says to them, it's really difficult for me to part with you and to let you go. So stay just one more day. Um, and I'm grateful my mom is, is here with us <laughs> in our community. So this is familiar, right? Mom, sometimes, you know, when, when we see you when we're leaving, when we're on the phone, wait, just one more minute, one more thing, right? We, um, and, um, and it's out of such great love, right? And, and in the Midrash, we also find a similar parable about Shmini Atzeret, uh, the story of a king whose son has come to a week-long festival at the palace, and the king and his son have wined and dined and danced and spent time together. And as the, the prince is preparing to leave the palace, the king says to him, your leaving is so hard for me, please just stay one more day, one more day. So Shmini Atzeret is here for us. It's this one more day um, and kind of two more days here in the diaspora, right? Also Simchas Torah. <laughs> um, but, but we have this, this extra special uh, time to allow the holidays to imprint themselves in our souls. Um, the stronger the connection, the harder the separation. So we pray that it will be God's will that the elevation, the moments of love and elevation and connection that we found in our hearts during this holiday season, Rosh Hashanah and, and Yom Kippur and, and Sukkot will be sealed in and that these memories will stick and that they'll nourish us during the days and weeks and months ahead. Um, and that we will continue to, um, with one another, long for that time when we'll be gathered again together um, in, in person. Um, so wishing everybody a, a most sweet um, culmination to the festival, this, this extra day, um, this gift of a day. And um, so we're going to sing a little nigun and, and transition 
um, back over to our, our song sheets um, on page three. And I'll put it back in the chat box in case anybody needs a link. Okay. Did he die in a 